Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to episode four of the Minecraft experience. Last episode, we began our quest to become overpowered. First, we gathered up enough ancient debris to turn all of our tools and equipment into netherite tools and equipment. Then we found the stronghold, fought the dragon, explored the end cities, fought our Elytra, and a whole heap of shulker boxes. Now, as far as this episode's concerned, we're going to be making an overpowered mob farm to get all of the gunpowder, string, zombie flesh, and bones we will ever need. Oh yeah, and don't forget about the Wither Skeleton Farm too. So let's get started. First things first, last episode I asked you guys what we should name this cat, and nobody said anything. But for some reason this village is just like a cat farm, and so many other cats were spawned in, and so I name tagged a few of them. Here we got Snowball 1, Kid, and Fury. Now thankfully somebody did suggest a name for this dog, and I think it's quite a beautiful name. So in between episodes, I've been running around doing a lot of exploration and gathering of these tiny little resources. And in doing so, I've used a lot of these firework rockets. This tiny little sugarcane farm is good enough for now, but really we need some gunpowder. And that's why I built this. This is the simplest mob farm that I could find. I absolutely loved this design and you can hardly see it because it is snowing. Side note, I did find the zombie skeleton horses right here. They must have climbed up the mountain after spawning in down there and just kind of randomly roaming over here. I will mention, I don't know whose design this was originally. All it is is these platforms with dispensers and observers right here. They're on a clock to dispense the water and mobs spawn in it. Water pushes them off, they drop down, and you kill them. Building all of the pads, there's 10 pads here, probably took me 20 minutes. This pad maybe took me 5 minutes. All we need to do now is this collection area. Now don't get me wrong, there are simpler designs for this collection slash kill area, but this diagonal pattern is just really cool to me. And we're using two of my favorite blocks, quartz and deep slate bricks. These deep slate bricks, well, they're not even bricks, what are they called? They're like tiles, they're deep slate tiles, absolutely gorgeous, one of my new favorite blocks in the game. Now I have all of this quartz from all the ancient debris farming I was doing in the nether. There we go, now you can get a better look at it, there we go. Alright, almost done, just one more ring and then we can put in our water sources. Uh oh, that's not good. Alright, that is it, that simple collection system. Obviously, it's um, it could probably just be square, but this diagonal shape is just so cool. We added some signs here, so now all we gotta do is add some water and a way for them to die. Now, unfortunately, how this is designed, we have to put in a source block of water in all of these spots, so this might take a little bit longer than it usually would. All right, now that is looking good. I absolutely love that deep slate tile in there. That looks really cozy. So now we gotta decide what's gonna kill them. My first thought goes to magma blocks. They're really easy, but apparently soul campfires deal the most damage. So we're gonna do that. I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of that placement there. I chose this area because while if it were in the village or around this area where I'm gonna build it might be a little bit more efficient, I didn't want this big pillar thing to be blocking the view of everything else in this little meadow here. So having it right near the mountain, near the edge of this mountain is absolutely perfect. I love it. So I'm just assuming I can place them all right here, right? Do I need to place them a block above? I don't know. I've, 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 this is my first build I've done by myself. I've never looked at a tutorial for this before. Well, that's gonna bother me, but I wonder if it'll bother you more than it bothers me. Now, I don't know if hoppers can suck items through these campfires, but again, we're gonna find out. All right, the last step we need to do is just flick on this lever and turn this bad boy on. You can see it's just a whole bunch of repeaters here. Once we turn it on, the redstone signal goes all the way through here, and then it's gonna come all the way over to here. This is a dispenser, which is gonna activate, and then underneath it, it's gonna det be detected by an observer, which is gonna turn off all the water. Oh, look at all those mobs right there. Look at all those mobs. Oh my goodness, look at those mobs. And then the water will dispense again because it's just gonna go keep round and round and round. And then hopefully we can see them start to burn up. Very nice. Now it's important, I think it's important to make sure that the, um, oh, that's a baby villager. Oh, that guy can go through. Um, it's important to note if spiders can escape this, which it looks like they can't. So hey, mission successful. Except for those baby zombie villagers. We probably just add some blocks on the side to stop that from happening. Oh my goodness, look at all of those spiders. Yeah, we're gonna need to add something on the sides. I think the spiders can get through. Or who knows, maybe I just need to raise the campfires up one block. Do you see how many mobs there are already? This is concerning. It seems as though the spiders are jamming the system. Or maybe they just take a while to go through, who knows? And that's right, witches can be fire resistant. Hmm. 
think for the spiders, if I move the glass back one block, they can't like climb up out of this. The witches, uh, I don't know. We might just have to do something different for the witches. I mean, how often do witches really spawn? Oh my goodness. Look at all that gunpowder. That's like more gunpowder than I've ever had in this world. We didn't even do anything. That's just been running for the past like five minutes. So I made this real quick and easy AFK platform right up here. I should probably put a torch on it, but this platform is 125 blocks above the lowest point of this farm. That's important because mobs immediately despawn if they're more than 125 blocks away, which means all of the mobs in the caves underneath here and all of the land underneath here will immediately despawn if they try to be spawned, which means the only mobs in this world are gonna be those directly underneath me in these spawning platforms and on these mountains here because they're within the range, obviously. I'll need to make that fancy, maybe make a phantom farm up there for real AFKing and all that stuff, make sure I'm protected from them and everything, but uh, that should be good for these guys down here. But my goodness, look at all of that. That's just so, so satisfying. And like I said, this didn't take long to build at all. And just like that, we have another 34 gunpowder. But this, oh my goodness, this, this is only the beginning of the episode, beautiful people. Oh my goodness, look at all those mobs. Okay, so we are gonna stop that insanity for now because we got a new project. So basically, I want a beacon. And in order to do that, we're gonna need a lot of different things. We're gonna need a wither skeleton farm. For that wither skeleton farm, we're gonna need some turtle egg, we're gonna need some TNT, and we're gonna need a nether fortress in the perfect location. Now when it comes to the turtle, well, that was the easy part. I just flew that way in some direction. I found a desert, well actually I was looking for a desert, but found a beach where there were a couple of turtles. Now as far as the TNT is concerned, I think the uh, mob farm was self-explanatory about the gunpowder and the creepers and all that. But also I found a desert, which is really nice, Mind up a whole shulker box worth of sand. So with the gunpowder and the sand, that makes some good TNT. All we need now is a nether fortress. And luckily, if it wasn't obvious already, yeah, I found one. Here we have all of the materials we're going to use. A whole bunch of obsidian for a whole bunch of portals. Blocks of iron for an iron golem. Turtle eggs to attract the zombie. Whole bunch of deep slate tiles. Whole bunch of nether rack. Let's, uh, let's go out on a limb here and let's get going on building this thing. Okay, beautiful people. I got everything all organized and I am absolutely terrified. So I figured out exactly where I want to put this wither skeleton farm. The fortress is right underneath here, so we're going to need to clear it out first, but First, this wither skeleton farm requires us to break bedrock. Okay, it doesn't require us to break bedrock, but it's gonna be a lot easier for us to traverse to and from this place if we do break the bedrock. Now, it's been quite a long time since we've done that, but I think we figured out how to do it. Here's 124, we got 994, 42. So all we're gonna do is uh, shift, hold up, and then ender pearl i think Ooh, yeah there we go we did it. okay 994 42 that's that's the block right there okay so luckily we oh, i forgot my ender chest <laughs> okay but we have crap we have obsidian but no flint and steel this is really it beautiful people we got to do this or it's over all right so uh, i think we can do this though i think i figured out how to do this this is kind of the most easiest way that i've seen on the internet here how to do this so we're gonna put it like that and then we have this weird trick that you have to go to your controls your keybinds you have to change that to something on your keyboard so it's a lot easier to press you go like that right okay cool so now this is why i wanted so much tnt because this doesn't always work i tried this in creative mode and it took ages for me for it to work for me here we go please oh i think it did it it did it but we're at the wrong coordinates all right we're gonna try this again one block up to that that guy and then oh there we go then please do it again aha i did it again and it's not the right one again i'm getting nervous beautiful people i'm not gonna lie <laughs> might have been 44 i was so nervous about this whole process i just completely forgot the coordinates we needed to do them on okay let's see if this works again nice there it is okay okay we're, we're good oh no the problem is I don't want to start all of my recording equipment all over again just to see what the coordinates were. And I'll have to stop OBS, Audition, NVIDIA, I don't want to do it. So I did it. I went back, I looked at the footage, and somehow I got through two things of bedrock. So I had to break two things of bedrock. So let's just say I'm pretty comfortable breaking bedrock now. <laughs> Oh 
my goodness, that took forever. There was a little bit there where I broke through to where I could actually get back through if I really needed to with the ender pearls and stuff. So I felt a little bit better, but man, that still just uh, made me uneasy. Again, full transparency here. I like to be transparent here on the channel. There's a lot of stuff that's happened off camera. I've built basically this entire thing off camera to make sure it works, make sure it's going to be functional. And so I can kind of cheat here a little bit, not necessarily cheat. I'm obviously not cheating or anything, but I have the coordinates that I want to use. That is if I look at the correct coordinates. All right, so we're kind of making the collection area first. Very similar to the mob farm that we just created. This is 125 blocks above where we just were above the nether or the wither skeleton farm above the fortress. So no other mobs will spawn. I just now realized that I did not bring a flint and steel, so we have no way of actually activating this portal. But this is ultimately what the collection system looks like. You pillar up here, you build this little structure here, the two in the middle, the two by two in the middle, that's the spawning area. This is just to prevent the skeletons from hitting you and you just come up here and they're gonna spawn from here, go out there. It's gonna be pretty cool. Trust me, it's gonna be pretty cool. I cannot wait to get an ice boat path over here. All right, this flint and steel, it really should just always be in that ender chest. Donuts, don't be a Minecraft scrub, come on. All right, now if I'm correct, this is gonna send us so far away from our spawn that we should get that achievement of subspace bubble. Awesome, very, very good. My goodness, what's with the four tall sugar canes? I was debating making this specific wither skeleton farm because of the fact that you have to go like 8,000 blocks away, but if it's just these handful of chunks, I think we'll be all right. It's one thing I get super nervous about in my Minecraft worlds. I want them to be, I want them to last a long time and I hate having to go further and further out for newer and newer terrain generations and new structures and stuff. So I'd like to try to keep my exploring to a minimum, but I love exploring because I love the Minecraft world. All right, so the reason that we're up here and so far away is to make this little contraption here. We're kind of working backwards and I apologize if that's confusing. There's gonna be a spawning platform full of wither skeletons. They will go into a portal. That portal will bring them here. These portals will transport them to a different portal in the killing chamber. I will kill them, get their skulls, and be rich. These cobwebs are because there needs to be 15 seconds in between the time that they spawn from a nether portal to another nether portal. Hope that makes sense. Let's see if this is the right portal to go through. And what do you know? It is. Very nice. Awesome. And we are here. See, they're gonna be brought here and then we can kill them from here. Now all we need to do, if I'm not mistaken, is make that a spawning platform, which honestly is probably the simplest and scariest part about all of this. So in order to be extra safe, I am gonna get one of these fancy new respawn anchors here and set that down here. We got some glowstone. We're gonna get this all the way up to the max. Very nice. And I set my spawn. That's so cool. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. So I've got the full gear on and no wings here because there's going to be a ton of blazes, ton of wither skeletons. I'm kind of nervous about it. I got my potion of fire resistance. Let's get this going. We're going to need to jump down there. I kind of don't know what it looks like. I got my potion of strength. We're going to throw that on here and we're going to get this potion of uh, healing right there too. So let's go see what it looks like. And uh, I did get feather falling on my boots. That's pretty cool. Uh, but it's just time to jump down here and see what we got. Okay, cool. Weather right there. Get knocked back, dude. I'm I am enjoying the knockback on on this uh, sword here too. Try not to shoot any piglins. Ooh, we got some chests over here. I forget what's in those. Okay, that was not nearly nearly as intense as I thought it was gonna be. What a garbage chest! Oh my goodness. I don't know if torches like prevent spawns in the Nether at all, like they do in the Overworld. But um, ooh, diamonds. That's pretty nice. Everything else is kind of kind of garbage. Look at this beautiful. What do you call this? Soul Sand Valley. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite new. Oh my goodness, it's the Nether episode again. Okay. Now, the start of this platform is really interesting because you have to find this little intersection here. And it's gonna make me so nervous to do this right here. But you're gonna do this guy because the iron golem is going to sit here and attract the wither skeletons at a very specific height. Actually, we need to be one block down. The question is, am I going to completely replace all of the netherrack with deep slate tiles? Probably not. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Really should have looked up if light levels affect blaze spawns. I think they do, but I think it has to be like light level 10 or something ridiculous. Clearly what I'm doing isn't working. So the reason you want to do it in this specific biome is for the fact that not a lot of mobs spawn in these types of biomes. So so as you can tell with all of these blazes, you can naturally force more wither skeletons to spawn than normal. 
All right, so here's the intersection of the chunks. We're gonna put the chests there, and then what we gotta do, we gotta go 14 blocks out that way. And we should be one away from the chunk border if that's the case. So it's just one big square. You know, in creative mode, this was a lot easier. It was really nice, it was really fun. I did everything all like nice and evenly, and it was like this, I just feel like I'm just spamming blocks and just hoping it all works out. All right, so this half is done. Now we just gotta get this half done. Oh, this little corner done. All right, we're almost there, beautiful people. All right, beautiful people, the spawning platform is almost done. Now what we're gonna need to do is we are gonna need to put walls here so that magma cubes don't spawn in. All right, very good. Next thing we can do is add these turtle eggs at the corners so that all of these zombie pigmen will be attracted to them. Oh, we gotta make this three tall. Okay, so now here's the tricky part. This is going to be where we put the iron golem. The only problem is that sometimes this iron golem doesn't like to obey. <laughs> We're gonna try our best to get this golem to be led in here. Hey, hey, very good, very good. Yep, come on in, buddy, come on in. Okay, you're not moving with that. Okay, just go, just go, just go. And then wall, please go in there. Wall, wall, that, that. Very good, very good. Don't see anything. Don't do anything about anybody. You don't see a single thing. Ah, oh, ha, ha, that is it. That's probably the most difficult part of the process done. Now all we got to do is just build the portal. It's at this point I do want to mention, this is not my design. I am nowhere near as smart as, it need, as you need to be in order to come up with this stuff. I will link the original creator. I think his name is um, Ian X04. He has some of the most amazingly efficient farms out there. I guess we don't need slabs if that's it right there. Okay, cool. Beautiful people, I think we're done. I think that's it. The only thing we have to do is to light this portal up and we can, um, I don't have flint and steel or ender chest. Beautiful people, I tell you, do you know how many mobs are gonna be down here when we get back? It's gonna be insane. All right, we got our flint and steel. We got our ender chest in case we need anything else. Make sure there's not a whole bunch of mobs. Okay, there's not a whole bunch of mobs. That's good. We're gonna light the portal and we're gonna start making all these torches disappear. So now hopefully you beautiful people understand the wither skeletons are gonna spawn on this platform. The walls are there to eliminate the magma cube spawns. The eggs are at the corners because once the zombie pigmen are attracted to them, they will immediately despawn because of how far we up are on our spawning platform. The chests, the walls, the repeaters, all of this is just to limit how many mobs can see the iron golem. Wither skeletons are three blocks tall, which means only they, they and only they will only ever be able to see the iron golem here. No blazes, no zombie pigmen, nothing. They will see them, and the only way they can pathfind to them is going up through this portal and into the farm. And that's when they're gonna appear in that overworld portal that we created, and then they will be pushed to that other overworld portal into the killing chamber that we made first. So in theory, all that we're ever gonna need to do now is just fly on up to this chamber, wait a couple seconds for it to spawn in a couple of wither skeletons and we should be good to go. Now the first bit takes a while because it needs to fill up with wither skeletons in the world, but we'll just see how efficient this is. All right, after a couple minutes of AFKing here, we have this. It had to fill up in the overworld first, but we have our first little tiny batch here of wither skeletons, so we can kind of knock these guys. We got sweeping edge, we got looting three, and did we? We did not get a skull. Okay, well, to be honest, I thought the rates were better than this. Yeah, this isn't as great as I thought it was gonna be. That's like the fourth blaze that's come through too. All right, here's a slightly bigger batch. It's, it's, I don't know, it's pretty inconsistent if you ask me. This wasn't as overpowered as I thought it was gonna be. And that was like, that was a good batch of, that was a good batch of folks and we still didn't get any skulls here. I have looting three, right? Yeah, I got looting three, it's the first thing on there. My goodness, I know it's rare, but holy moly, we almost got a stack of coal here. Maybe these guys, come on. Give me something good, give me something good, let's go. No? Decent group of people here, so we're gonna see Sweeping Edge. Hopefully we can at least get our first one on camera. There it is, Spooky Scary Skeleton, Wither Skeleton Skull, awesome. I mean, the rates aren't terrible. This is gonna be faster than just running through the Nether Fortress looking for skulls. But I'm gonna need to research what's going on to see why in the heck it's so slow. I wonder if I did something wrong. Beautiful people. I am a flippin' idiot. I forgot that wither skeletons need nether brick to spawn. So that entire spawn platform full of 
Deep Slate wasn't capable of spawning wither skeletons. So no wonder the spawn rates were terrible. So yeah, I went back down, I changed all of the Deep Slate to Nether Brick. And now, now the rates, hoo hoo. Beautiful people, these rates are amazing. In all of the troubleshooting I've done, I've maybe spent 10 to 15 minutes here. Okay, maybe a little bit longer than that, but we have now a grand total of 31 wither skeleton skulls. This thing is my favorite farm. To really hammer this point home, all of these mobs are just from the now two minutes that I have started recording this clip. So let's see just how much stuff we get from these guys. There are so many things here. Look at that. Two skulls in two minutes. So what I want to do now is I want to sit here for another 10 to 15 minutes and farm up these guys and see and, and get a good rate for this farm so I can show you guys what this farm is really capable of. All right, beautiful people, it's been only 10 minutes just sitting here, kind of letting it build up a little bit or just grinding them here a little bit, as you saw. And we, well, <laughs> we just now got our 10th wither skeleton skull in 10 minutes. Now, obviously, that's like about a skull per minute or 60 skulls per hour. But then again, I do have a looting sword. There's 11. Oh, my goodness. There's 12. OK. All right. Well, and there's 13. Oh, my goodness. I could literally sit here all day and do this. But obviously, like my inventory is full. All these bones. This is that. That's that same amount of time. There's the 10 minutes and we have a stack of coal blocks. This farm I could literally, oh my goodness, another uh, two more skulls. Oh my goodness, you guys. I gotta stop. I gotta stop, beautiful people. This is not healthy. This is not good. This breaks the entire game of Minecraft, and I absolutely love it. This is what this series is about, beautiful people. This is the Minecraft experience. This right here, hoo -hoo -hoo, I absolutely am in love. I'm addicted to this. I'm like, oh, I can't stop. I gotta go. There's another skull. All right, that's it. That's the last one I'm gonna do here. So we will take our 48 <laughs> wither skeleton skulls. We can fight 16 withers today. I mean, we're not going to, but we'll do our best. But what good are wither skeletons if you're not gonna fight the wither? So what we're gonna have to do is head on all the way down our mine shaft here. And then we're gonna need to pick one of these mine shafts for us to fight this wither in. I know some people aren't gonna like me fighting this wither underground, but I don't care. Need some night vision, strength, and well, I guess there's really, there's nothing else to do. We just gotta do it. Okay, all right, let me do it. Withering Heights, oh man, this makes me nervous. This is like more nervous than a dragon fight, but uh, I think we got it. I think we're okay. I think the deep slate is less uh, explosive than the cobblestone, right? Than it was before, hello? Oh, this knockback sword is not gonna be good. Oh, maybe it is. Hey, there we go. Okay, withered, figured that as much. That's all right, we are doing good. There we go, we're almost halfway. I need to get back in my hole. Okay, all right, halfway. Look at that, not even a heart town. Okay, all right. There we go, don't get cocky donuts, and there we are. Oh, we got a lot of silverfish. Oh, that could be bad. <laughs> hey, we did it. Oh, we got some, ooh, we got a, we got a, a wither rose. That's pretty cool. I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? I think the bow might be the smarter choice here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he can't even touch me. Oh, this is nice. I like this a lot more. Get down from there. Oh, boy. I mean, why not? We're already down here, right? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're okay. We're okay, Don't <laughs> We're fine. We got all the potions we need. Ooh, look, redstone. And there we go. Third one's a charm. Hey, look, there's, oh my goodness, there's so much diamond down here. The problem appears to be whenever he gets too high and I can't hit him. So hopefully, you know, lowering the ceiling will help that. I don't know if he can tell you with people, but I'm having fun. Yeah, this straightaway right here. Oh, this is great. This is so great. Nice and easy. Awesome. Look at that. Hasn't even touched me this time yet. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is a new type of strip mining, you know. Good morning, you people. Welcome to my new dead before I can even get the tutorial out. <laughs> More resources. This is fun. I don't even know when I'm going to stop. We got more wither roses. That's pretty cool. All right, beautiful people. This is gonna have to be the last one. Oh no, the ceiling. Oh no. Uh oh. 
This ain't great. Come back down here with her. There we go. All right, we'll do this just to be safe. Awesome. Almost there. Couple more. Very nice. Awesome. Well, I gotta say, six nether stars, pretty good haul. I was going for one, but we got six. This is going to be so great. Oh, yeah, oh, it's, I don't get an achievement for that. And we got three with the roses too, which is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna decide to put it around here somewhere. And here it is, beautiful people. Boom, beacon on, yeah. Beaconator, bringing home the bacon. That's great. And ooh, this, ooh, hoo -hoo, I think haze too. It's gotta be haze too, right? Oh yeah, that is sick. Obviously we didn't have a whole bunch of iron to complete this, so we used some gold. However, I am wondering if I have even enough gold to do this. Indeed I do. We can have another beacon and it should still be active, right? Yeah, two beacons. And it's gotta be speed too. Oh, and then the real question becomes, I can do three beacons. Jump boost two, all right. There we go, beautiful people. That's gotta be the ugliest beacon I've ever seen on YouTube. But boy, does it feel so good. And that, oh my goodness, that just looks so amazing. And I love the blue flame up there. It's just, it goes with the snow. Oh, stop. This is such a good episode for me, beautiful people. With all of that being said, we have so much stuff over here. We've got stacks of redstone. We've got random stuff of stone and dirt. I have shulker boxes of deep slate. I have all of this nether stuff and end stuff and elytra and magma blocks and redstone. We are far, far outgrowing our first home. So I think it's about time. We need to utilize these beacons to their fullest extent. And I can think of no better way of doing that than starting a huge underground storage area. But before you do that, be sure to check out that video and do the same as our dog here and stay beautiful. <laughs>